Hello Sagittarius. It is the Sagittarian Goddess. I hope you guys are well. You're you're prosperous and you're having a wonderful day. No matter where you are in the world, I hope you are staying positive and you are able to overcome whatever obstacles, whatever challenges that may come your way. And I hope you know that. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. So I'm hearing a Sagittarius that you are one of a kind. And I'm not just saying that because we are all unique individuals. I'm saying that because I'm I'm just feeling like your love, the love that you that you give is is one of a kind. It's the way you do this. It's the way you you show up, Sagittarius. It's the way you show up. Yeah. It's unforgettable, Sagittarius. You keep getting it. You keep getting un unforgettable. I'm getting that you have an unforgettable love about you. The way you love and care for others, okay? This is beautiful. You have mood swings. So, Sagittarius, you can be seen as moody. But you're so unforgettable. <laughs> it's like you be going through it. I, I feel like a lot of you be going through it with your with your moves, okay? One minute you're up, the next minute you're down. In between. <laughs> and it's all over. It happens all over again. So those that you connect with could feel like you're a sweet person. You're a loving person. You're unforgettable. But you have mood swings, okay? You you could already know this about yourself, Sag. <laughs> huh? Ain't nobody got to tell you. <laughs> I can't pretend. So it's it's about like it, you just you just can't help but be real. You know what I'm saying? You just can't help but be real with them, Sag. You know what I'm saying? You cannot help these. You can't help but be yourself. That's all you can do. At the end of the day, that's all you can do. That's all you can do, Sagittarius, is be yourself. But you have some unforgettable mood swings that you can't, like, you can't fake the funk with anybody, not even with yourself. You have to keep it real, okay? You have to keep it real. It's like somebody can ask you, Sagittarius, like, how are you doing? And instead of you saying fine, if you're not doing fine... <laughs> You would just tell them straight up, I'm having a fucked up day. Like, it's it's just not, it's not going good. <laughs> and the person that you're, that you're talking to or the person that asks you could like, look, look, look at you like you're crazy. You can have some people to look at you like you're crazy because you're so honest and vulnerable. And then you can have some people to feel relieved because this is how you love. Like you, like you just give love Sagittarius by being yourself. You, your your love language is being real, okay? Your love language is about being real, but a lot of times you are misunderstood. You know what I'm saying? You are misunderstood in your personality, in these mood changes, right? Hmm. A lot of you feel misunderstood. You feel like somebody misunderstood you. Hmm. Someone feels like you misunderstood them. Okay, now we're getting into into the messages. You got an I promise and you have one more time. Ooh, I promise one more time. Like if you give me one more chance, if you give me just one more chance, I promise that you will be able to understand where I'm coming from. And you, you got slow jams here. And I hear Janet Jackson playing in the background. So... Wow, I do feel like some of you have this unforgettable love. I'm 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 picking up on something about romance too. Hmm. We gotta get into the tarot, you guys. We gotta see what's going down, alright? Cause this is this is feeling nice. Let's see what's coming out of the yin yang first. Let's see what's coming out of the yin yang first, what you said. I hope you guys are doing well. You have forming structure foundation. Forming structure a solid foundation. Hmm, okay. 
So you're working on building something that's, that's strong, that's going to stand. Oh, what is this? Seeds. Spring. Okay. Something that you uh, planted in the spring or something that you put forth effort towards in the spring could be finally showing some type of progress or results. Hmm. Let's get another one. Oh, you have guilt and sabotage. I do feel like there was some type of misunderstanding. Like, although you can be misunderstood, Sagittarius, it's like someone misunderstood something or someone wasn't trying to hear something. Someone wants to try something again. Give something another shot. Because someone knows that they sabotaged it or, you know, they feel guilty about not listening or not um, trying to get an understanding or something like that. Something about not really putting forth the effort. Something about effort. Hmm. Like someone kind of gave up on what they were working on. Hmm. And I hear Janet Jackson said, I don't want to stop. So someone realized that they did not want to stop connecting with you. They didn't. They didn't want to stop connecting with you, Sagittarius. After they thought about it, after they thought about it, I feel like they started to miss you. Like someone really did not want to stop. Mm, you got the Ten of Swords. Something you said could have been unforgettable, Sagittarius, or something that someone said to you could have been unforgettable. This could have really hurt you or hurt them or made them feel some type of way. It was some type of disconnect. Temporarily, anyway. Then you have mood swings. Why is mood swings here? Yeah, with the six of pentacles in reverse. Someone feels like someone didn't give to a situation. Someone just gave mood swings. This could be you. This could be uh, what someone is thinking of you. And then you have the lovers at the bottom of the deck. So you could be connected to a Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini, Sag. Why is I can't pretend here? You got the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, we. Someone can't can't not can't pretend that something is okay in in a connection when it's not. Some someone feels like they have to just be in the energy that's that's happening. I can't pretend that things aren't broken and pretend like we are just in love or pretend like we are just friends or um, someone can't pretend that this is what they want. They're, they don't want to pretend with you. They don't want to pretend like this is what they want when it's really not what they want. This was some type of misunderstanding. What is this misunderstanding dealing with? I saw the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, the Empress just flipped right over. So, um, there was just some type of misunderstanding here between you and somebody. I just feel like you and someone should have a conversation. And that will, like, give you more clarity on a situation. Like, just have, sit down and have a, a mature conversation. This is what I'm hearing maybe one of you saying or thinking about. Maybe having, having a conversation. Why is I promise here with one more time? What is this dealing with? I promise. I promise one more time. Ooh, Knight of Wands. Mmm. What is this dealing with? Wait a minute. I promise one more time. Like, someone is promi promising you to do something one more time. Um, They want to have a connection with you one more time. They want to meet with you one more time. I promise one more time with the Knight of Wands. So we're going to clarify this and get a little bit deeper. All right, let's get a soul's journey at this time. Ooh, this is very intense and passionate, okay? Thank y'all so much for tuning in to this reading. This is the Sagittarian Goddess. Make sure you like this video. Drop me a comment down below and <laughs> subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys so much. 
Okay, and then you have gratitude, adversity, and relationships. So I do feel like this is about a relationship. I feel like it's pretty uh, self-explanatory, you know, with the lovers and the two of cups coming out and relationships coming out. So there's some type of challenge. There was some type of obstacle that you and this person had to face or faced and then you have gratitude so this really leads up to you and this person or you or this person to show gratitude for this connection there is some type of blessing behind this connection um that i feel like was discovered once there was a little distance between you and this person whether that that distance was mentally physically whatever emotionally but I do feel like you and this person definitely faced a challenge that you feel like you know how you can overcome this now or you're getting some type of realization about overcoming this challenge in this connection. Hmm. Someone came to the conclusion for real, like I said, somebody came to the conclusion that this connection was more important than any challenge. Hmm. That's very passionate. Ooh, that's my song playing, y'all. Cupid. That's like my favorite song, y'all. 112 Cupid. Oh, I love it. I mean, I can have that song on repeat. I mean, it's just the way that it sounds and the depth and the just in the instruments and the, the sound. It just sounds so comforting and like it's like I, i'm getting a hug so i'm getting that you and this person when you guys reconcile or when you guys have a conversation i just feel this hug or i just sense a hug someone really loves to hug you or you really like to be hugged oh and i just i just feel like a comfort that's going to be felt like a sense of relief like oh uh, i'm glad that you know i was able to talk this through talk this painful situation or this uncomfortable situation through with this person that I care about. Wow. Wow. That's beautiful. That's really beautiful. Let's go ahead and get some angel numbers messages. You guys, let's see what's coming out. Let's see what was coming out. Ooh, wee. you got 16. I am perceptive. You have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths you have a special ability to read into other people's feelings, a wisdom seeker, and your angels ask to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. Yes, you are perspective. So a lot of you have retreated. You took some time apart from somebody that you really care about. And when you took some time apart from them and they took time apart from you, you were able to see something from their perspective. And I'm getting they were able to also see something from your perspective. And this creates a balance between you and someone. Okay. This creates a beautiful, beautiful balance between you and someone between in a relationship that you have. This could be a friendship. This could be a relationship with a family member. This can also be a romantic relationship, even a business partnership. OK, there's some type of understanding that you have uh, come to terms with you and someone. But I'm picking up on a lover. OK, more so a lover or a romantic partner. Let's get another message. So you have 16. So uh, the age 16 could be significant to you. Something happened significantly at 16. And then you have 33. I am powerful. Ooh, 333. Three, three, I'm sorry. I am powerful. You are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker, assisting all of humanity. Live your truth and be positive light to others. Oh, this is so beautiful. Sag. This is so beautiful. I am perceptive. I am powerful. So you could you could have the letter P in your name, okay? You could have the letter P in your name. Thank y'all so much for tuning into this reading. I hope y'all having a wonderful day. Wonderful day. Ooh, what's that coming on? Mm -hmm. What song is that? Is that my mama? Mama, no. Yeah, no, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Let's see. 
Okay, you got nine, nine, nine. I am unique. <laughs> Thank the past for your lessons and leave it where it belongs so you can make the best of the life that is still waiting to be fulfilled by only you. Damn, Sagittarius, that's so beautiful. So you could be born December 16th, November 26th, December 6th, December 3rd, November 30th, December 13th, December 9th. December 19th, November 29th. These numbers could be significant to you. Okay. Wow. Okay. What's that song? Okay. Um, so someone is like proud of you. Okay. Someone is proud to be able to connect with you. Like, they're so proud of you. Like, they want to show you off. Someone wants to show you off. Hmm. That's interesting, Sag. Why is the Ten of Swords here with Unforgettable? Like, something that someone said was unforgettable. Something was hurtful. Something was shocking. You have the King of Crystals in reverse. Oh, something that someone said, this could be you or this person. It, it made the other person feel like they weren't committed to this. Like they weren't, they, they weren't serious, you know, like they weren't serious about whatever you and them spoke about or were doing or whatever. Why is Moose Swings here with the six of pentacles in reverse to the lovers? Ooh, the high priestess. Ooh. Someone feels like this is destiny. Like it's destiny for you and them to like meet again and to come back together. This could be um, someone that you could have been friends with in the past and you came back around and, and like literally fell in love. Or this is someone new and they just feel like the path, <laughs> the path that you and them have been on in life just it landed in the perfect position for you two to meet and come together at the perfect moment. Uh, uh, wow. That's, that's intense. All right. That's real intense. And you have, I can't pretend with the ace of pentacles, three of pentacles, two of cups. Like someone cannot pretend that things are okay with them or okay in the connection. They cannot, they have to give what is given. Someone feels like they got to give what is given. So, Someone wants to work on something. Someone wants to work on a connection. Someone wants to give something an opportunity. Someone, someone wants to try this. Someone wants to try this with you or try something with you. Hmm. This could be a Capricorn, um, a Gemini, a Virgo, a Pisces. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here to the Three of Pentacles and the Two of Cups with I Can't Pretend? the nine of shells yeah someone cannot pretend this is also the nine of cups you guys so someone cannot pretend uh that they're happy in a situation this is also about gratitude so you have gratitude twice here so Sagittarius this is a reminder you know for you to show gratitude in every moment um that you're able to okay show gratitude in every moment that you're able to even if Things aren't perfect. Even if things aren't perfect, show gratitude. Yeah. Yeah, because he's saying, my, 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 mm. He said, let me show you how sweet it's going to be. So I'm getting uh, Sagittarius. When it comes to your confidence, you know, show gratitude when it when it comes to where you are, like in your personal in, in your personal goals. This has nothing to do with anybody else except for you. You know, show gratitude in you, in who you are, and where you are in that moment. And it's like, show yourself how sweet it's going to be. Show yourself how sweet it is to be loved and to also be loved in return. Because it looks like you should show gratitude for yourself or you're skipping showing gratitude for yourself. Show gratitude for yourself. 
And then you will be able to see why someone is grateful for you. Someone is grateful for you. Someone is grateful to have you. Someone is grateful to have you as a friend. Someone is grateful to have you as a child. Someone is grateful to have you as a lover. Someone is grateful to work with you, to build something with you. You are worth that. You are worthy of that, Sagittarius. I feel like a lot of you need to be reminded that you are unique. It says, I am unique with 999. I am unique. Embrace your uniqueness. Just because it's broken, it doesn't mean something's wrong. Hmm. Just because something is broken, it doesn't mean something is wrong. No, does it like me? So I'm getting Sagittarius. No one does it like you. <laughs> like you have this unforgettable love, or you have this thing about you that you know is unique. Okay, it's unique. That's the word I was looking for at the beginning of this reading, y'all. It's unique. You have a unique love. You have a unique. Look at this nine of shells. This is about. Uh, gratitude and fulfillment you have a unique way of fulfilling yourself and also fulfilling those around you Ooh, with the two of cups okay why is the empress here with misunderstood mm, and you have the ace of shells look at that happiness abundance Ooh, you share you share your happiness and abundance with others something was misunderstood hmm your happiness was misunderstood your comfort was misunderstood. Oh. Why is the Knight of Wands here with our promise and one more time? Let's see how my baby's doing. You got the Nine of Crystals, Security, Abundance again. Oh my goodness. You got all of these nines. This is about self-fulfillment. And it's like when you fulfill yourself, you share this with others and this uplifts others with the ace of shells oh my goodness you have so much love to give sagittarius what is going on i feel mushy inside i feel mushy inside you got that whip appeal okay sagittarius you got that whip appeal so a baby face is playing. So a lot of you could have like a baby face mm. or you have this face like where you can almost get whatever you want. So it's just like if you make that little look, <laughs> if you make that little look, you got like this special little look. Um, and I'm getting like it's a look of innocence. It's a look of love, too. It's like. It's wow. Wow, a lot of you are working on your security, working on your abundance, um, speaking posit positive affirmations to yourself. Go you, okay? Go you, Sage. That's beautiful. And then I just see this empress sitting here, and it's like you got this two of cups, nine of shells. It's like this something is being just given to you. Um, I did say you had a like a baby face or a look. Something is just being given to you because you exude gratitude. You exude that. Mm. And don't get the saying affirmations because once you get the saying of affirmations, it's on and popping. Spirit is just, it's just sending you blessing after blessing after blessing. Mm, wow. And then you have our promise one more time with the nine of crystals. Like someone is serious. This, this, this could be your energy. But I'm picking up on a Capricorn, a Virgo, a Gemini, a Pisces, possibly a Taurus. And I'm really, really picking up on another fire sign for this Knight of Wands. I want to know more about this Knight of Wands, y'all. Let's find out um, what's going on with this promise here with the Knight of Wands. Wow, with the Nine of with the nine of crystals this is really passionate too really really passionate energy someone is like for sure about how they want to lock some down or secure something hmm why is the knight of wands here 
Ooh. We, someone is pushing through. This could definitely be another fire sign, all of these ones. Someone really wants to like dedicate themselves. Um something is difficult. Something is difficult and something is going to take a lot of work. <clears throat> something is going to take a lot of passion. It's going to take a lot of uh, focus. Hmm. Some of you are really going after something, Sagittarius, and it's huge. Let's get one more. Tell me more about the Ten of Wands. Tell me more about the Ten of Wands for Sag. Wow, one more time, I promise. Ooh, we. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Oh. Okay, uh, and I'm here, Jill Scott. Ooh, uh, Sagittarius, um, you see these cards. <laughs> you see these cards, Sag. I mean, I do read the cards. I read the cards along with like common sense, you know what I'm saying? But Sagittarius, someone is dedicated. Look at this. Someone is dedicated. Someone know they self-sabotage some shit. Someone knows that they go have to put in that work. You know what I'm saying? Someone knows. Someone is willing. Someone is able. And someone is ready to get to this star here in this sun. They trying to get to where the sun don't shine. Sagittarius. Oh my goodness. What is going on here? Oh my goodness. She said, you you better chill. So, like, somebody could be coming on super strong in a situation, okay? Because I feel like someone is, like, dedicated. They promise you. They promise you. Hmm. Let's get a little bit more information on this because... This is feeling a little too good. A little too good. Okay. Gotta pull out the white cards. I hope you got. Wait a minute. Why are these? I could have sworn. <laughs> Sweetest pie. Personal issue. Hmm, sweetest pie personal issue. So, someone does feel like you are sweetest pie. Someone, these cards still flipped over. I'm, I'm going to have to go through these cards. Um, something came up. Someone does feel like your sweetest pie but they do feel like you have like personal issues that you need to work on. And who who don't, Sagittarius? Something came up. Get away. Hmm. Let's get one more. Let's get one more. Something came up. Get away. Hmm. I did feel like a shift in the energy. Like, I did feel like someone was coming on. Strong lottery ticket. Wow. Hmm. 
okay something came up why is this here for sage why something came up here for sage Ooh, look at that look how that energy shifted to the seven of swords damn this could be a separate situation for some of you like outside of this love situation or things could have just like changed with this sabotage the sabotage did come out why is getaway here Someone tried to get away. Someone tried to get away some, with something that they were trying to keep a secret. Something that was hurtful. King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They felt like they didn't have a choice but to do this. Why is the lottery ticket here? Ooh. Let's straighten it out. Okay, you got Monica playing. Let's straighten it out. So it's like someone know they crossed the line. They try to get away with something. They try to get away with something, and someone is wanting to fix it now. Someone is wanting to fix it. They want to fix this connection here. Hmm. There was a King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Hmm. They tried to get a get away with giving you a piece of something instead of the whole thing. Whatever they were giving you with the six of pentacles to the seven of swords in reverse, it wasn't it wasn't fair, it wasn't balanced. Hmm. Why is the seven of swords here? If something came up. You got the moon in reverse. Someone was hiding their feelings about a certain situation. Someone kept their feelings under wraps um, instead of openly communicating their feelings. So they made an excuse about something coming up, but really they just wasn't ready to face whatever, um, whatever they were going to face at the time. They needed more time to think about a situation. They feel like they were being rushed or they didn't have all the answers at that time. Why is the why is getaway here with the King of Pentacles? For Sag. Yeah, the King of Acorns. Someone wanted the whole thing, like everything. They wanted everything. And someone wanted to get a get away with giving them less than what they deserved. Someone knew that they deserved the best. This could be you, Sagittarius. Like you knew you deserved the best. Um and you, you weren't, mm -mm, you weren't settling for anything less. That's why you, you, you can't pretend like, mm, hell no. Like you, you can't pretend like you're, you're getting more than what you're, what you're asking for, or, you know, what you say you want. Hmm. This is a very passionate connection. Why is lottery ticket here with the seven of ones? Cause someone wants to, um, work on something like put up some type of wall around you and them so that you can y'all can fix something or work on these issues why is the seven of wands here to the lottery ticket oh scared me oh you got the page of feathers yeah this this is about discovery and exploration so someone wants to like learn everything they want to learn about you about the situation so they can fix it hmm why is, that, why is this here with the page of feathers and seven of wands let's get one more Ooh, the traveling, the fool. Ooh, it's about adventure and the three of shells. Someone wants to be playful with you and just explore things with you. Um, like grow this, grow this friendship, grow this love with you. Um, build something, build. Um, and it, it did say solid foundation that you got out in the yin yang. So, um, I, I just see someone wants to build a solid foundation with you, something that's for sure with you, and they want to put up barriers around this so nothing can you know get in the way of it sounds a little bit extreme but it just sounds like this person is very passionate it depends on your situation but um yeah it's like you have the fool here this is the traveler so this person wants to explore then you have the three of shells someone wants to to collaborate with you someone could want to work with you too on a project Something that's new and exciting, something that's uh, liberating and optimistic. 
it's, it's, it's something that is going to like something, something that's out of the box. It's definitely something new. Someone wants to try something new with you. What is this having to deal with? I gotta, I gotta find out what, what is this newness having to deal with for Sage right here in this connection? What is this newness? What is this dealing with? You got the King of Wands in reverse, the Eight of Wands. Hmm. It's an idea, definitely. What is this having to deal with? Ooh, the Empress. Oh my. Oh my. What is going on? You got the Empress again? Okay. Why is the Empress here? What are the intentions behind this? Oh, the two of swords. Someone could be asking you something or um, asking you to choose something. Ooh, we give me two for the two of swords. Give me two for the two of swords. Two for the ooh, the six of pentacles in reverse. Ooh, the eight of swords. Someone could be a Sagittarius asking you to make a decision between working on something. Or not <laughs> like working on something or not, because you have the six of Pentacles here. And it's like someone wants to offer you offer you something and you may decide that it's better that you work alone or it's like you can work with them on something or you can work alone or you can go at it alone. Hmm. Let me pull a yin yang for that. Let's pull a yin yang. What is this dealing with? Hmm. You got a party, you got abundance, celebration. And nostalgia. So someone, a uh, Sagittarius could, this could be this person here. Someone is saying you can, you can, you can choose to be with me or not, but I'll still love you. I'll still have those memories of you. You're unforgettable. So someone is, is saying it's not going to change. Your decision is not going to change whether or not they care for you or want to be with you. This person feels like they want to be with you forever. Mm -mm. Something don't feel right here. Let's see. Let's get a card for this. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, something don't feel right here. Hmm. The Eight of Cups in reverse. I just see you, I just see you walking away. Um, someone is walking away. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups. Someone is walking away from, from something that's not fulfilling. Why is this here? Ooh, the magician. I just see someone steadily trying to like give you gifts. Someone is steadily trying to remind you. It's like, it's almost like someone has caught amnesia with this unforgettable. It's like someone is trying to make you see that it's meant, it's meant to be something is meant to be with the magician. Someone, something is meant to be the star and the sun. Well, wow. let's get the overall. And then uh, I have uh, Jamie Foxx playing Infatuation, y'all. I love that song. So someone is, is feeling like, is it just infatuation or is, is this real love? Ooh, wee, this is a little bit intense, you guys. Wow, this is intense. Let's get the overall. Someone's not sure if they're infatuated or if they're really in love, okay? Oh, five of Pentacles, yeah. Someone is unsure. 
I feel like someone could um, not be in touch with their their physical body um, or you could be coming coming more in touch with your physical body sage okay with the king with the king of cups oh wow hmm someone could be out of touch with their physical body their emotions at this time Oh, yeah, with the lovers. But Sagittarius, a lot of you know what you feel. A lot of you know what you feel, Sagittarius. Right? You know what you feel. A lot of you should be more confident <clears throat> in your uniqueness and in how you feel. You know how you feel. This is about your feelings being balanced when it comes to love. Okay, this is temperance in reverse. This is your card. This is about you, um, Sagittarius, knowing how you feel, accepting how you feel. Why is the Five of Pentacles here to the King of Cups for Sag? Page of Wands. Yeah, you know how you feel. You know what makes you get to going, Sagittarius. You know... You know, you know, you, you you feel it, right? You feel it. You have to trust that feeling. Um, it's like kind of going back to when you were younger or when you were a child. Think about the things that brought you joy. Think about it. Something brought you joy. Just one thing, you know. It's like that, that feeling, okay? The King of Cups to the Lovers. Ooh, the Four of Swords. Yeah. It's like just kind of rest, Kind of read Sagittarius and then think about how you felt at a certain time. This will bring you back to that gratitude that we talked about, Sag. Why is the lovers here to temperance in reverse? So it's like you balancing yourself out with love. And like this is about how you view love, Sagittarius, and why you view it the way that you view it now at this time. This is a tower moment. Wow. Mmm. Nice, 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 Sag. So you've had a terror moment when it comes to love. Like something like could have broke your heart. Something could have felt horrible. And it pushed you into like having a certain perspective on love. Oh, when it came to your your feelings, your physical body. Why is the page of ones here to the four swords? Okay, what's that plan? You have... Joe, I want to know uh, the world in reverse. So it's like rewind time and go back. Go back to before or when you were younger. Like your your earliest memories of having joy, of feeling love or, you know, whatever that is. That is still, that is still what you feel. Like, it hasn't changed. It's like your experiences could have made you view things differently. A lot of things. So it's like rewind time to that most purest form that, that you were in. So trust in how you feel. Trust in your intuition when you have a creative venture that you want to seek out. You know when you care about something. You know when something piques your interest look at that childhood six of cups like go back in time like when you were younger um versus now the reasons why you feel things so much now is because you had more experiences than then and your feelings were in their truest form when you were younger okay sage and that's just for that's for anybody who's watching this okay and then you have the world in reverse with the six of cups beautiful it's like rewind time and just go back. And it's it's going to give you the answers that you seek in this moment. Beautiful. Ooh, look at that. The Ten of Cups. It's going to give you that happiness that you seek, that love that you seek, that, that fulfillment that you seek. 
it's going to give you that. It's going to give you the nine of cups and more. It's going to give you the ten of cups. And it's going to uh, leave you feeling very powerful. You know what I'm saying, Sage? It's going to do that. It's going to bring out that fire in you. And you're going to feel more confident in who, you're, who you are and your who who you are and in your uniqueness okay thank y'all so much for tuning into this reading this was a beautiful reading you guys i will see you all in the next reading